Hello to everyone, this is Joanna, and today I wanna to share with you some Bath & Body Works items that I purchased. I went out there just to get two of the small single wick candles that I missed out on during the $4.95 sale, which I knew that I was gonna miss those. I was there the day before getting soap and I could not return. I wanted to, but I didn't wanna shuffle anything around. Um, so I will be getting as many of those um, probably at the regular price with 10 off. They did give me 10 off today. I don't even know if 10 off was available, but I'm showing you this and I want this to come in clearly and I hope that it does because the first part of what I'm gonna show you is from these two lovely ladies. This YouTube information is from Miss, um, or the YouTube information that I have here is from the channel of Mrs. Rita. Mrs. Rita and her lovely wife sent me some hand soap that I was saying wasn't here anymore. They didn't just send me not one, but they sent me two. And I hope that you can make out what I've written here because I realize how slanted my writing is. Her channel is right here. It's the YouTube and it's Black is Beauty Me. And I don't didn't realize how I wrote that, but I want you to be able to see this because this is her instagram and her youtube and it is b l k i s b e a u t i long underscore m e for instagram and it's all lowercase letters however it is the same thing for youtube except for the capital b in the black is beauty is capital i said that right i said that but backwards i am so sorry but i want to thank these ladies so much because they included a couple of extras, or a few extras, I should say. They sent me this really beautiful card, and it was also Happy Mother's Day because I didn't realize, um, I always forget, even though I have said it before, here where I live, there's the Derby, there's my birthday, and there's Mother's Day, just about all in the same week. But the other little things they sent me were these little face sheet masks, and it is so funny that I believe um, in one of my carts, I had this one and this one on there so I can take them off. They sent me an I'm aloe one, and I'm lavender, and an I'm honey, and these are all the Tony Molly mask. And what they sent me, sorry about that noise, was, and I left it wrapped up. Um, they sent this FedEx, I left it wrapped up. This right here, the candle in this, well not this, but the um, key lime candle, and then this was sort of the coordinating soap only they called it key lime biscotti. These items are 100% gone in our store. And I think I went in there today looking for the um, Flamingo Beach because I keep calling it pink flamingo candle. It is coming back in different packaging, but I'm hoping to find it in the pink. And I am hoping that it shows up at semi-annual sale. Maybe, maybe, I don't know. Because I really did like the pink packaging and I was sorry that I didn't get it, but I was after other things. But they sent me not one, but two of these. And I am so thankful, ladies. I want to say from the bottom of my heart, thank you so much. So I will put these up. One of these I'm going to go ahead and take into work with me with my pink petal tea cake and put in my locker. Now I'm going to share with you what I got from Bath & Body Works. And... One of the items I think I meant to get a different pocket back because um, I did pick up a few pocket backs. In here is the Mango Mai Tai. I may already have this one or Island Papaya, but I did not mean to pick this one up. I thought it was something else. So I will be taking this back to exchange it for the Georgia Peach one. I did not look today to see if they had more. Um, I didn't even think about it while I was over there by the pocket bags, but that is the one that I have told you all um, each time that I go. It is more and more depleted. But the rest of these I did intend to get on purpose, and I didn't even empty my bag. Sometimes I think I should empty my bag. Now, I got five, and then I bought a few extra around that. So the other thing I got was this, and this was $5.75, and this one says Sip Sip. So this is just another one of those little holders that you can put the pocket back in. So I did get a um, raspberry lemon sorbet, and I'm going to put that in here. Not for any particular reason, but I'm just going to put it in here because it's the same color. And see, so you can put this on the side of your purse. I really do like these little holders. Um, I had the cherry one because of Miss Myra and Kyla. 
Um, I had been in the store um, that particular month. They had those, and I said I didn't even think about going over there that day like I normally do. So when it comes to ones like this and the ones like that one that I had, I do like those. So I did get, let me see here, the pocket bags that I did get. I believe I repeated my gingham because this third one is probably going to be a gift and I will get another pocket back holder. I don't know what to do to make that come in because I see that's not quite clear. And I don't know if it's because I'm moving or what the deal is there. Um, but I did get another gingham. This one is, some of these say and some of them don't. I got a Tiki Shore. So I got another gingham. And I got a Make a Splash, which I believe this says Turquoise Waters. And then I got a Don't Quit Your Daydream, which is Sweet Star Quest. This one, I couldn't remember if I had it already or not. So I went ahead and got another one. And then, of course, I got a Boardwalk Vanilla Cone. I had to get just one because I do have plenty of the ones that came out with the um, Cotton Candy Bliss. That one, the Perfect Beach Day, and I think another one. Y'all y'all know I got multiples of that. Um, now, I did go ahead and get the On The Waves. I only got the lotion. This was all that I wanted. Now, I don't know about the Pantone color of the year. I know that the Pantone color is coral, but you see this blue popping up? There's a lot of blue in Pure One also. Blue seems to be the trending color. If there's a difference, I don't know. But if there is a trending color this year, it seems to be blue. And I do like some of the blue packaging, but I already have enough of the soap that I love, which is Sea Island Cotton. Um, I might try their lavender one, but I will say this. Our store will not put out the new um, Apple Blossom and the Lavender Cotton one until the end of the month, they said, but they do have the tester. They had the lotion out, but not for testing. She let me smell it because they didn't have everything else to it. I love it. She also had the Apple Blossom spray out, which I want because I missed out on the Pear Blossom. I had it the year that it came out. A little bit before 2009 and I gave my set away because at that point anything I wasn't using I was happy to give away and I had their travel size which was bigger than it is today it was like a midway size between travel and this in fact they were four ounce bottles I had a four ounce shower gel and a four ounce pear blossom lotion but I will say this I'm not sure I'm interested in the strawberry because I feel like it may smell like the other strawberry if it smells different, I will only get a lotion in that. The purple one, guys, I want all the pieces. Um, and the green apple, I just want the lotion, the gel, and the spray because I'm working on creams now. They don't last as long. There's no point in me, you know, getting a bunch of them. But I will use that lavender one. If you don't like lavender, I will say this. If you guys remember the lavender and apricot. Now, the smell isn't the same, but the softness that the lavender apricot smell has is the same softness. And like that, what was it? Lavender and apple blossom, whatever that purple gel was that came out with the peach, almond, and honey. The lavender and cotton one that's going to be coming out has a softness like that. So I really did like it. If you're on the fence about lavender, give it a sniff and see what you think. But I only got this in this form because this... I won't say it smells masculine, but I do feel like the men in the house can use this. So that's why I only got the lotion because they could repackage this up for men. They could, um, but it doesn't smell manly. I'm just saying. Now, what I actually went in there for, now I want way more than the two that I got, of course, but I wanted to make sure that I didn't miss out on the DC one. You've heard me say, I don't like cherry blossom, but I don't like Japanese cherry blossom more. Japanese cherry blossom, you will never see me buy for myself. If I buy it, it's a gift for someone who likes it. My daughter used to like it. I was happy when she no longer liked it. And I never buy anything in Moonlit Path. And that is the one fragrance that has been their original fragrance from day one that they just won't get rid of. Anyway, I did go ahead and get this one. Now, I do want the men candles. Um, I just didn't want to pick up more than these two today because I had something else I was supposed to be doing. Otherwise, I would have gotten four of these. 
Um, but I do want the, all of the men ones except for if there's a mahogany teak wood. If there is a single teak wood, yes, um, because I have a lot of mahogany teak wood because that was a scent that my son liked. I do want, I think it was fresh water. The bourbon smelled really, really nice. Ocean and Noir, however, I'm not sure about the ocean. But all of the men's in this size except for the mahogany teak wood, no, I have enough big ones. The small teak wood, yes. I wanted to get the um, San Francisco one, but when I got that peppermint one, I'm not sure if I got San Francisco or not, and I cannot find those candles to see, but that will be one, the New York one for my daughter. I like these a lot more than I like the bigger ones. I'm not really interested in the three wick destinations unless someone wanted one as a gift, or I got one to match up with a hand soap. I do still want the Honolulu green packaged hand soap and I do still want the Endless Weekend. I'm not too concerned. The only candles that I know that I want more of, whether there's a sale or not, is the Lavender and Lemon. If I see the Flamingo Beach, if I'm saying that right, in the pink packaging. And there might be the Salted Ocean. There's only a couple of the new ones that I do want. So... I wanted to make sure I got this because this was just too cute. And these won't necessarily be getting lit. But all of these, besides the male scents that I can find, I want. Even the New Orleans one, and I'm not too crazy about that dark glass. Now, the other two items that I got, and I saw this online, and it was just $14. And if they have the... You know how sometimes they do the get a free item. They keep making it 14 and they keep putting things. They even did that, guys, with the wallflower plugs that were normally 14 or were normally 1250. They've made a lot of them 1450 out of the reach of being able to get them as a free item because, of course, they want us to pay for them. And that's fine because if they don't produce scent anymore, you can go ahead and get another one so you can kind of see it as a two for one. But I went ahead and got this and it is a faux leather. I just think it's just a cute little bag. If you want to give this for Father's Day, that's why I went ahead and got this now because it's cheap enough to where it doesn't have to be a free item. People are probably gonna be buying this up because you can put some Father's Day essentials in here and slip some gift cards and cash in here. So I went ahead and got one of these at $14.50. And the next thing that I got was this head wrap. I thought that these were too cute and these were just $10.50. So this could be a free item if they happen to have that. And anytime they have things like this, I try and go ahead and get them. And you guys know you ain't never seen me with a head wrap on here. And I'm so selfish, I might not give it as a gift. But if I buy another one of these, the person that would probably get it is my daughter. She does wear head wraps when she has her hair braided and in various styles. Um, a lot of people utilize these in different ways. So I think that would be really nice. But I certainly do love the print of this. And it's giving me nail vibes, even though I don't have any. That is all that I got from Bath & Body Works. Now, the only other thing that I bought, and I'm going to get more, and guys, I've already been in this. This is the Rihanna, um, what were these called? Pout Sickles. I know that I want the odd blue color, and I know that I want the red and the orange. Um, but that night I went out there after work, I wanted just one. And this was the color that I was after. I wasn't after the other pink, and I'm definitely not after that light blue. To me, you either got to be young or bold to pull that one off. Um, so, but you know what? These That particular light blue would be good, like for people that do the Halloween makeup, like the fairies and things like that. So it's usable, just not by me. And Rihanna can probably pull it off. Joanna cannot. But I do plan on going back to get the orange one, the red one, the balm and the scrub. And I still want Flamingo Acid. So the only other things that I have been up to is I plan on going back to get the rest of this collection. I did learn that the one color that I had, Wildflower, was from another collection. And these two are from the actual China Glaze that is out this summer called Body and Soul. But it's Body and S-O-L. So I do plan on getting the rest of this. It appears there were a total of eight colors and I'm missing six. So probably um, this Thursday, I will go back and get at least two or three more of these. And as you can see, I'm still working on my hands here. I have, um, I don't know if you can see that. I've got most of the polish up that was down in the crevices there. So what I'm working on now is length and strength and shaping. 
because that's kind of messed up. I got a lot of dry areas here. And then I'm also working on my damaged areas, damaged cuticle skin areas. I have two or three areas, but I'm working on that. So what I've been using is, I was using that calcium nail gel, but you're supposed to put that on every four days. You can't wear any polish at all. And I really like my Dury Rejuvicote the best. Plus these two bottles that I have are old, like not super old, but I know that I've had these since 2013. And what year is this? And so I'm gonna use these up while in the process trying to order more of those from Amazon and those Vega Cotton Rounds and this. This is a good oil, but it doesn't smell like it's supposed to. It doesn't stink, but oils go rancid really, really fast. And it still has an apricot scent, but I wanna be sure that I go ahead and start using it before it takes on a different tone because I've had it a while. This is super, super moisturizing as you can see. So what I do is I rub this in my cuticles and my hands with lotion. So for the next 15 days or so, I am going to keep the polish off. When I get about three times the little bit of length that I have, that is when I'm going to go ahead and start doing French manicures because that is what I wanted to clean up the base of my nails for, um, is to be able to do French manicures. And I take a polish, just a clear polish, and I put that on. I have polishes that are made for... Um, French manicures that I like to use. One of them is Essie Sugar Daddy. I have an OPI one and I don't seem to have any out here where I can show it to you. I don't think. Yes, I do. Here it is. And since I'm going to be taking this polish off, I'm going to go ahead and show you. This is Essie Sugar Daddy. And any polish you see that kind of looks like this, these are great for French manicures. All I do is oftentimes I will do the clear on my nail and then I will do my strips. And then this right here is what you use as the overcoat. So I'm going to put it right here. I'll put it on these two fingers because I'm going to be taking this polish off. You just put this on as the overcoat. This goes over top of whatever color I lay down on my tips is a French color. And as you can see, it's barely any change at all. From what I got, it just kind of gives a little bit of something. It's on these two right here, these last two right here. Um, but it just kind of gives a little bit of something, but that's what I like to do. This is a good color. Another one, if you're familiar with the Formula X, um, I believe that one was called Wondrous. So if you have any sheer polishes like this and you just wondered what exactly to do with them, that's what you can do with them. So that was it. I believe that is all that I have that I wanted to share with everyone. And again, I want to say a thank you to Mrs. Rita and her wife. I thank you so much. That was so kind of you. And if you haven't gotten these candles, go ahead and try them out. I know I forgot to read the notes, but this don't smell bad. I just don't like Japanese cherry blossom. Um, and I didn't even read the notes. Let's see. It says cherry blossom, petals, um, cedar wood, and essential oils. And then, of course, this one is... Cold brew coffee, vanilla sweet cream, warm caramel drizzle. Warm caramel drizzle with essential oil. So I don't know. But I just thought these were very, very pretty. And I do want the rest of them minus Seattle. Not Seattle. Minus whichever the other one is. What would that be? It'd be something weekend, wouldn't it? San Francisco. Yeah, don't pay any attention to me. I'm also tired. So anyway, until the next time, everyone have a wonderful day.